pray that I can stay there. I ain't scared of nothing. Your grandma stay there. You All right, so today, basically, um, I wanted to swap out the wheels. I had to get these mud tires off of the Explorer because they're just way too big. I got some loaner wheels for one of my teammates. Um, I'm going to get all the interior pulled out today as far as like carpet, the rest of the seats. We're going to prep the floor and hopefully get some deadener late today. At least one layer. I'd like to do the whole floor, um, but I got to get my vacuum and get it all cleaned out. And then we're going to get to work, but we'll be back with that. So I've got a layer in, I'm gonna be done for the day. I'm gonna go back with the time lapse and show you guys where I've done deadener at and then I'm gonna give you like a walkthrough of everything. So far, I've got one full layer. Um, there's a couple spots that I hadn't put in here because I need to still test fit uh, this spot right here because the center console actually slides into place. But everywhere else has a single layer of deadener. Um, I'm actually doing a, a different deadener back here. Um, so that's why I haven't even messed with that yet. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the def boss double rigid. Um, but you see what I have so far. Everything basically covered with a layer. Let's see down there and all the way up to there. No fires today, luckily. Right, there's a couple spots I need to go back through and heat with, uh, hit with some heat. Um, but that's about it for today. All right, basically, uh, we're able to get a layer of deadener done today. Um, we're going to be back with some more uh, tomorrow. Obviously, it's getting a little late. I've been at it for about five hours now, and I was able to get a full entire layer on the floor um, up to the bottom of the firewall and then back to the cargo area. We're going to layer it up tomorrow, making sure that we don't cover up those bolt holes. Um, like I said, we got a lot of work, and it is a lot of work. If you know, you know, uh, Sundown Vibraflex, while it is a great product, it is very labor intensive. Um, basically, you know, you gotta heat it up really hot and melt it in there. Um, a little tip, you always wanna keep a can of water for your roller. And you can see that in there. What you do is you get it blistering hot, take the roller, dip it in water, roll it out. What I like to do for the seams, uh, in order to smooth the seams out between each other, is I will actually take my gloves, dip it in the water, and try to smooth out the transition so you don't have a bunch of lumps and, and all that. Um, but tomorrow, like I said, we are going to get after it again. Um, this is the end of my video today. I can pray that I can stay there. I ain't scared of nothing. Your grandma stay there. You